Arsenal and Manchester United will meet in a preseason friendly this weekend. Historic rivals, the two English giants face off as part of the Premier League summer series across the pond as both Mikel Arteta and Eric Ten Hag continue preseason preparations. The Malife Stadium in New Jersey will host one of the most evocative fixtures English football has to offer and plenty of new faces will be on show. It may be billed as a friendly, but there will be no love lost when Arsenal and Manchester United collide in New Jersey on Saturday evening. The two Premier League foes are both in the midst of preparing for the upcoming season, and while fitness is the most important thing, bragging rights are inevitably on offer and neither will want to come out on the wrong side of this one. Leandro Trossard has picked up injuries in both Arsenal friendlies so far this summer and surely needs a rest for this one. Reese Nelson and Alexander Zinchenko remain sidelined through injury. Thomas Partey and Emil Smith-Rowe have joined up with the squad and could be given some minutes, while it's another chance for Mikel Arteta to experiment with Declan Rice, Martin Odegaard and Kai Havertz in midfield. Arsenal predicted lineup 4-3-3, Ramsdale, Timber, Saliba, Gabriel, Tierney, Rice, Odegaard, Havertz, Saka, Jesus, Martinelli. Eric Ten Hag has most of his senior players back available to him but just how fit they are remains to be seen. Most of the international stars have only been training for a week and are therefore unlikely to play more than 45 minutes at this point. A personal issue has delayed Fred's link up with the squad, while new goalkeeper Andre Onana only joined training on Friday and may not be thrown straight into the action just yet. Man U predicted lineup 4 2 3 1 Cover, Juan Basaka, Varane, Martinez, Fernandez, Menu, Mount, Antony, Van de Beek, Ahmad, Sancho. Arsenal are undoubtedly ahead of United in terms of fitness, with Ten Hag's senior stars still finding their footing after their summer breaks, and that could ultimately prove crucial. Mikel Arteta can leave some of his big stars on the pitch for significant minutes, which should give Arsenal the edge against a youthful United side whose performance will be disrupted by a raft of substitutions. It's not a result to read into, but this one might just go Arsenal's way. Arsenal will win Manchester United by two goals to zero. Gabriel Martinelli responds to Arsenal leadership questions as transfer signals end of era. Switzerland midfielder Granit Xhaka was a big influence in the Arsenal dressing room and his departure for Bayer Leverkusen came as something of a surprise. Gabriel Martinelli is confident Arsenal have the leaders to replace Granit Xhaka. Switzerland midfielder Xhaka was a big influence in the Arsenal dressing room and his departure for Bayer Leverkusen came as something of a surprise. It also signaled the end of an era because he was the last remaining regular starter from Arsene Wenger's days in charge as Arsenal move into a brave new world under Mikel Arteta. While Arsenal prepare to honour Wenger with a long-awaited statue outside of the Emirates, they have a new group of players ready to write their own history. But leadership will be important and Martinelli insists they have strong voices within the squad while it is already clear that new £105 million record signing Declan Rice is future captain material. Shaka said his goodbyes to the Arsenal players after the final game of the season in May and now they have welcomed new signings Rice, Kai Havertz and Jurian Timber on the preseason US tour. Arsenal forward Martinelli said, Granite is a top guy, a top player and he was one of the captains in the team. But we have many options. He was always right there to help me but we are going to find someone else to do that. Of course, we got the chance to say goodbye. We spoke in the last game and he's a lovely guy and I hope he does well this season. I just wish the best for him and his family. Quote. Arsenal boss Arteta has also taken the unusual step of welcoming players' family members to join the squad in the United States. Several players have got loved ones with them in Washington before they travel on to New Jersey and then finish in Los Angeles with games against Manchester United and Barcelona, having thrashed the MLS All-Stars. Arteta is always determined to make little changes as he believes small margins can make a big difference. Players spend a long time away from home, there are big commercial demands on them during this tour and it means a bit of time with family makes a difference. The players mingled with loved ones after the game in Washington with several families turning the tour into an American holiday. Martinelli's family are back in Brazil but he said, it's so good. I have said many times, my teammates are my family as well. We are just a unit. Martinelli was on target in the 5-0 win over MLS All-Stars and, having missed the final matches of last season through injury is now back to full fitness. 
He also says the arrival of Havertz gives them even more attacking dimensions. He added. I am fully back now and confident to start the new season. It's easy to play when you have so many players like that. It was difficult to miss the last two games of the season and then I went to the break and tried to recover as soon as possible. That's what I did and now I'm fully back and ready to go again. It's so important we have options because we have too many games in the season and it's going to be tough again. We are ready to go and it's good to have so many options. Meanwhile, Arteta is confident that Leandro Trossard, who was also on target against MLS All-Stars, will be fit again soon after he limped off injured in Washington. Arteta added, Trossard got a knock and we don't want to take any risks at this stage. He had some pain. We'll see how he is but I don't expect it to be anything big.